Republican vice presidential governor nominee Governor Mike Pence releasing his tax returns as promised, and they seem pretty straightforward. Uh, now the pressure, of course, is on Donald Trump yet again to release his returns before Election Day. He previously said that he would do it. Uh, but he had to wait until his audit was complete. But Trump's now suggesting that timeline could change. Garrett Tenney has more from Washington. Well, one thing we know for certain now is Donald Trump did not pick Mike Pence for his money. For the last month, Pence has really played down the release of his tax returns, and indeed the documents are pretty straightforward. Between 2006 and 2015, the former congressman and current governor of Indiana earned a relatively modest average of $160,000 a year, and went on to donate an average of 10% of his annual income to charity. Now the Trump campaign is trying to capitalize by contrasting Pence's returns to those of Bill and Hillary Clinton, saying in a statement, these tax returns clearly show that Mike and Karen Pence have paid their tax Taxes, supported worthy causes, and unlike the Clintons, the Pences have not profited from their years in public service. But the release of Pence's tax returns also again raises the issue of Donald Trump's tax returns, which he has yet to release and has repeatedly dismissed as an issue, explaining he can't release them until the IRS completes a routine audit. This week, though, he added more confusion to the issue when he repeated that answer, but then said he could release them immediately under one circumstance involving his opponent. I'm under audit, a routine audit, and when the audit's complete, I'll release my returns. In the meantime, well, no, but nobody would recommend that. In the meantime, uh, she has 33,000 emails that she deleted. When is she going to release her emails? She probably knows how to find it. Let her release her emails, and I'll release my tax returns immediately. What matters, though, and is yet to be seen, is whether or not this issue will actually have an impact on Trump come November. In Washington, I'm Garrett Tenney, Fox News. Garrett, thank you. Governor Mike Pence, meantime, joining Brett Baer live in studio on Monday. So do not miss special report at 6 p.m. Eastern. That's again Monday right here on Fox News.